Good morning, everyone. This is my friend Shark, and we met at the hostel. Yeah, um, we are going to go find the national dish of Cambodia, which is fish amok. We both haven't tried it yet, so we're pretty excited to try it. For the viewers here, fish amok is Cambodia's national dish. It's made out of a river fish normally, and it's like grounded up into a paste uh, with like curry like. Uh, features like I guess taste yeah 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 and um, normally it's served inside a banana leaf yesterday I, bought, I saw someone eating a fish amok but it's in a coconut oh a coconut yeah, yeah. coconut shell yeah coconut shell it, it was actually shark's idea to go find fish amok today and uh, he actually wanted to try it as well uh, no. but uh, basically he said I gotta try it today before I leave and yeah, I'm like I've never tried it before Today, I need to try it. Yeah. Okay, so Shark here is actually from Singapore. Singapore, yes. And uh, he's just here. Or are you here on travel? Yeah, just Asia travel vacation. You just travel vacation. Where have you gone so far? <laughs> just Cambodia right now. Like, it's Phnom Penh and Siem Reap. It's Phnom Penh and yeah. Siem Reap. Oh, okay. And uh, what, what's your next destination? Thailand, Bangkok. Thailand, Bangkok. Yeah. So we found this place here. It's a very local place that doesn't have really English here, but we found fish amok. Here it is. So we're going to give that a shot. He's already seated. I'm going to join him and we'll give it a try. Hello. Okay. Oh my God. What's it taste like? I think um, there's a bit of like coconut or something. I'm not coconut, but I can't, I don't know what the name is. Mm. But it's a bit of sweet, but not too sweet. Yeah. What? First impression? Good or no good? Very good. Very good. Hold on, let me ask for my watermelon. Okay, here we go. This is the first time I'm going to be trying fish amok here in Cambodia. Sim Reap with my friend Shark here. He's already started and he's enjoying the dish right now, but I'm going to give this a taste and find out what my first impression is. So we got, with fish amok, you can choose to either have fish, beef, or chicken in it. And we chose fish because normally that's what this is made out of, fish. With the fish that they choose, it's usually a river fish, the river fish that they get here. Um, so it's a freshwater fish. And so I see a lot of orange, I mean yellow, and so that tells me they use a lot of turmeric in here. And the consistency, I'm going to show you here, the consistency of this thing is very liquidy, like a soup base. See this? And they've got a whitish color, so it tells me that they've got some coconut milk in here. Or cream, but most likely coconut milk. Because that's more of the uh, ingredients they normally use in kamai dishes. Mmm, okay. Oh, I get I get what you're saying. It's very sweet. It's like a Swedish, not very sweet, but like a yeah. lightly sweet. It's just like, just nice. Just nice, yeah. yeah. So I'm tasting coconut milk, a little bit of galangal, um, as well as a little bit of sugar and definitely turmeric for sure. Turmeric, is, it's, a, it's a, one of the bigger tastes that you're gonna taste in this. As you can see here, they ground it up it looks like lemongrass here. You see that flakiness? That's normally how lemongrass looks like when you really grind it, grind it up and you put it in a soup. Okay, this one is very finely, finely, finely minced and they have fish. They got also as well an egg in here. This is egg. This is egg white. And we've got the fish here as well. And you can see they left the skin on with the fish. Absolutely amazing. A little bit of cabbage as well as, what else do we have in here? You see a little bit of flakes of red chili here. And, uh, and if, if I'm correct, this green stuff here should be chopped up lime leaves because that's what I'm sort of tasting as well. There's a hint of lime leaves in here. Did you know um, in Thailand, Cambodia, do you know like the things that they say here is very similar, like yes. the way they say it? Even in uh, when I was, uh, watch videos about Laos, they had similar 
Yeah, yeah. tonality, yeah. It, but even the language, the way they write things, it's like, it's almost similar. Very similar, But yeah. there's a bit of difference. Yeah. yeah. So the reason why Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and maybe even a little bit of Vietnamese, actually, is because they have a lot of Hindu influences, and that's why you have the Angkor Wat, the temples, the stupas. In, if you go to travel to these countries, they all have that same sort of similar temple structure, the infrastructure, because this all originated from India. And Hinduism has a huge influence in the culture in Southeast Asia. If you know in Thailand, have you ever seen in Thailand the, the red symbol the, with the, the Garuda, which is the eagle? That is Vishnu, which is the Hindu god. But nowadays, nobody calls Vishnu Vishnu anymore. They call Vishnu another form of God, which is Buddha. Let's go to the, back to this main dish here. I'm going to give this a try. Here we go. Mm. 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 Very delicious. Very delicious. Very mild in taste. It's like a curry. Definitely like a curry. Very strong in turmeric and um, as well as lemongrass. That's the main, the main aromas that's coming out of this dish. Mm. And the fish is cooked to perfection. Absolutely amazing. You know a fish is cooked well when it's not too, too hard, right? And it's not too, too soft. So when you get it too soft, sometimes that's undercooked. It's kind of gross because you can also taste the, the fishy smell. Also, fishy smell can also mean that the fish is old and rotten. There's a nice white colored fish, but it's coated with the turmeric as well. Nice cut. Very nice. I don't know what kind of fish this is. Uh, I can't even tell by this. But it kind of has the consistency of catfish. Very similar. And you can see like the meat structure almost like catfish as well. It's kind of like that roundish, that roundish meat. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Shark's got to go see another friend right now and we're going to be departing soon. Bye. Bye-bye.